they played a, another team of men. Uh, uh, man's game out there tonight, points were very difficult to come by. Uh, I thought our defense was outstanding. And um, I thought their defense was outstanding. We just got a couple couple breaks where we hit, hit some shots and got a little bit of that differential. And in a game like this, there's not much that separates the winner and the loser, except, you know, like two exchanges and then two other exchanges. And, uh, uh, and we made them and they didn't. Uh, so but they're very good and they played their butts off too. And um, I thought Lance Thomas did a great job for us, you know, with 13 points, seven rebounds. But he's the guy who inbounded the ball against our press. Not not just in this game, but the first game. And basically, he didn't he didn't make mistakes. He was very very strong in inbounding the ball, and then a lot of times being the first receiver, the second receiver of the ball after he passed it in and making another good pass. And that was uh, that was a big part of the game because they didn't score much off of, off their presses, which you know they do them well and they usually score a lot off of them. So uh, proud of my guys, uh, and uh, proud of my guys. Any questions? If your strategy was to take away the second and third option, that was pretty much effective tonight. Seems What's that? If your strategy was to take away the second and third option in the offense, it seemed like it was most effective. I don't know if that's our strategy as to, as much as t taking, you know, like you're not going to really stop Booker. You know, I think he's one of the best players in America. He could be the best player in our league. He's one of maybe the top two or three. So he's going to get points. You just want to make sure he doesn't dominate the game with his passing. You know, and and defense. You know, a lot of Booker has such a huge influence on the game because he points the press a lot, forces turnovers, and then he's really a great passer. I think he he may be their best passer, and uh, so he was not able to influence the game there because our, we played very good defense tonight. I mean, very good defense. Can you talk about your poise and execution in the half court game on offense? Yeah, it was it was really good. You know, even in the first half, when the points were very difficult to come by for both teams because again, they played really good defense too. I, I mean, Oliver will speak for his own team, but I thought, you know, I, I ultimately respect them and him. And uh, uh, I, what we wanted to do is not beat the press to score. We wanted to beat the press and score. And so if we broke the press and had numerical advantage, we wanted to take advantage of it. If we didn't, we wanted to still score instead of having the press speed us up. And I thought our veteran perimeter did a really good job of controlling the pace of the game. You know, when we didn't have that numerical advantage, pulling it out and then running Especially in the second half, we ran stuff much better. Can you talk about uh, Nolan's play tonight? I was able to stay calm and make some tough shots down the stretch there. Yeah, well, Nolan's, Nolan's been really good for us all year. And uh, uh, he has the ability to create his own shot. Uh, and he's not great at it, but he's the best guy we have at doing that. And when we're getting pretty good movement in our offense, which we did in the second half, it created some openings for him to take advantage. And when, when he's in that, I, you know, I'll call a couple things for him too, just because I know him, you know, like, okay, it's on you now. And uh, he, uh, he had over 20, I guess, in, in the game. But, you know, big, big time, you know, in a 60 to 47 game, you get, what do you get, 22? He gets a third of our, over a third of our, 35% of our points, 36, 37. What does it work out there? About 36, 37. About 36. How much do you think the effort on defense tonight was fueled by what happened at NC State? Uh, you know, we've played very good defense all year. I mean, the first half, the first game against, uh, against we played great defense. And our defense has been, been good all year. Uh, I thought, you know, this has been a tough week for us. 
because we start out on a Sunday night game. That was the most physical one I've encountered in about three years. And we had, we were banged up. And I, I thought I did not prepare my team as well because I was more worried about guys getting healthy than, uh, than getting them as ready. And State played a beautiful game against us. And we got more rested and less injured, you know. And we prepared hard for this game. Even our shoot around today was, you know, we went hard uh, during our shoot around. But, uh, you know, we have a great group of young men, and they responded well. How important was it to hold them off at the top of the second half here? Get a couple of runs at the top. Of the yeah, really important. We got the first six points in the second half, and then what did we have? An 11 point lead, and they scored about six, maybe seven, six or seven. And we didn't call a timeout, and we scored on a three point play. And I thought, I forgot what, who made it. It was a three point play, not a three point shot. Who was it? it Thomas. Lance. Lance. Yeah. yeah. It, that to me was the biggest exchange. Thank you. That was the big, biggest exchange of the second half. Can you talk about the parity in the league this year? Yeah, it's great. You know, uh, I guess it's great. Um, you know, a, a lot will depend on when you play a team, how much rest one team has over another, an injury stuff like that because there's there's not much difference you know up and down there really there really isn't and um, uh, which makes it exciting for everybody except the coaches you know and uh, but it, it's a very evenly balanced league this year is that does that parity make it that much more important to be one of those four teams at the end of the year that, that doesn't have to play in the first round of the ACC oh yeah I don't think any of us look at that I mean, I don't think that's a part of anything. Yeah, you know, I, I just think you want to win as many games as you can, make the NCAA tournament, and wherever you fall for the ACC tournament, you fall. You know, at, uh, you know, it's January 23rd. You know, we're got people. Believe me, nobody in our league is is looking at that. Although it's not bad that you're looking at it. <laughs> you, know, you know, if I was coaching a team, maybe I'd look at it. Coach, can this be a, a win that fuels you, though, now for the rest of the season? Last year, it seemed like you took the loss here last year, and it fueled you the rest of the year. Can yeah, well, I think there's no question that teams get confidence, whatever, whether you have veteran, young, or whatever. You know, this is a big win. You know, I, you know you, we knew Clemson was ready. The, the community was ready. You know, to come in here and win, is, our, our guys should feel good about that, that they can go into – other environments and when and they should celebrate that for a day you know what I mean and then on Mon Monday morning before they go to class we should start getting ready for Florida State there's you know one of the great things about playing on Saturday even though it's late is that you do get Sunday you know I hate playing on Sunday because the kids never get a day off you know because even if you give them a day off during the week which you have to they got they're going to school and they don't really get off, you know. Tomorrow they get a chance to, you know, think about today, tonight, and you know, feel good about it, and then move on to the next thing. Last question. Okay. Uh, yeah. Coming in, there's a lot of talk about your team struggles on the road. Do you drive any particular side? You know, we've won on the road. You know, people want to make the thing about neutral sites. We play. We have by the end of the year, we'll have one of the top five schedules in the country. We played every year that way, and in the history of, or in the last 20 years, you can check our road record. It's the best. It's the best in the conference. You know, so, yeah, I don't, I don't worry about stuff like that. I just worry about the next game. You know, because usually at this stage of my career, it's what I'm not doing or haven't done or haven't done lately. You know, so I'm accustomed to that. I just don't want my players to. To, to do that. And by the way, I'm going to bring you along so you can tell me, you can relay <laughs> things, things to me. I, I need that. At this stage in my life, I need that. All right, thank he you very much.